Hey guys, we are out here in Texas on this beautiful sunny day. We finally got rid of that cold weather that us Texans are not quite used to. So I am ready for that sunny and 75 weather. But today we are out here on the range and we are going to be practicing some pistol and handgun shooting. If y'all saw my previous video I did with Chad Prather, you might have noticed I was a little bit better at um, clay shooting and skeet shooting than I really was pistol. So I want to get better at that so we are going to practice i have on my alexo athletica concealed carry leggings i'm going to be practicing pulling and drawing and shooting and really with the ammo shortage that we have going on right now i'm going to do my best to be as frugal as possible with ammo right now because we don't know when the when they're going to be able to catch up with the demands luckily i stocked up beforehand but still want to be as frugal as possible so we will practice on draw pulling and just really working on that technique for those of y'all that are first time pistol shooters or just wanting to learn a little bit more about how the whole handgun shooting pistol shooting works I will be giving some tips and tricks along the way I also got some new SME targets that we have set up and we're going to get those out and then we will get to practice shooting I'm going to start with my handy dandy Glock 43 9 millimeter and I'm just going to run some rounds through it get warmed up but I wanted to show y'all one of the first tips people always um, wonder about is how to actually hold the gun I see it all the time where people want to hold it like this and that is not right you want to cut you want to hold it like this and then cup that left hand or right hand, whatever hand you're dominant with, and put it just like that. Make sure your thumbs are below the slider as well. And I also want to point out that we are in a safe space right now. We're in the middle of the ranch, so I know that nothing is around. So that is why I'm actually holding my gun this way. So I just wanted to point that out there because I know a lot of people will say that you aren't supposed to hold a gun to where you aren't shooting but i have my ear pro on i have my eye pro on so now we're gonna go live downrange am i still shooting that was low 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 whoa low I'm holding it above the target. Hello. Seriously? Yeah. Yee! I was holding it at the top of the target. Well, I guess that's why I'm practicing. Because <laughs> clearly I'm not great at this, but hey, I never claim to be a pro, so practice makes perfect. So one out of six can only go up from there. Now I want to practice just concealed carrying and pulling and practicing my technique with that. It is a little bit of unfamiliar territory to me. I haven't done this quite a bit, but I have on my Alexo Athletica leggings that actually the waistband is concealed carry so you can be comfy in a workout and your gun will be safe on your hip and you're good to go. So I'm gonna practice a couple draws and then I'll show you that you can do like jumping jacks or high knees or run and work out in them and your gun will still be safe. Okay. We'll go hot in just a minute and put the magazine in there. But, see, you can work out high knees and your gun's still safe if you're going on a jog. I have really got to work on my stance pulling because I am getting really low with it, but. That's why we're here. Practice makes perfect. Okay, let's go load the magazine, make it hot, and we'll actually do some drawing and shooting. Okay, 
We're gonna do this one more time. I'm going to work on not jumping like a complete fool. Okay, she's concealed. We're gonna lock. Go around. <laughs> That was a lot better. I didn't jump that time. That a lot better draw. Well, something I can get better at for sure, but I have a, another gun I want to show y'all next and practice with that one as well. So the nine millimeter Glock that I had, not too bad. I could definitely use a lot of improvement on it, but that is why I'm doing these videos and it's okay not to be good on your first time out to the range. As for me, it's probably like my 20th time out to the range and I'm still not great at it, but practicing makes perfect. So don't be nervous to go out and just try. You might look like a fool, but who cares? At least you're getting out there. I am now going to be shooting a 380 Smith & Wesson. This is actually my mom's gun. I just kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit. This one is smaller, more concealed. I think it might be easier to shoot just because it's a little bit smaller and it fits my hand a little bit better, but I don't know. I'm going to test it out and just see how it feels. This is a lot smaller than the other one. And the trigger is a lot different than the other one as well. Am I shooting high right? I don't even know what to say. I just stink at handguns. But, hey, I got a couple more rounds under my belt, even though they were misses. Still getting a little more comfortable. Okay, we reloaded. I'm going to try this again. I will be the first one to admit, I do get a little frustrated with myself whenever I am shooting, but James just put something into perspective for me if I was at a concealed carry class. The targets that you're going to be shooting at are going to be a lot bigger. Right now I'm sh shooting at a five, six inch steel gong. So I am, ooh, I'm only missing a little bit high and a little bit low, but I still want to aim small, miss small, so. I'm gonna practice a little more. That was improvement from last time, I hit one. Well, this target took quite a bit of heat today, but it is still standing even with the shots I sent through the legs, my bad. Um, thank you guys for tuning into this video and bearing with me through that pistol training. I know I'm not the best and I have a lot to improve on, but I get better each time I practice. If you guys have any suggestions for me, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section. I know I have a lot of critics out there, so just make sure they are friendly and nice and I really do appreciate it. For those of y'all that are first time pistol shooters or gun shooters, make sure you just go out there and practice. Don't be scared, just be confident. Um, you don't have to be the best, no one expects you to be the best, but if you get out there and practice, you'll get better each and every time. 
Just make sure you are practicing safe, be smart about it, and if you have guns in the home, make sure they are in a safe place as well. Just remember, it is not a gun problem that we have, it is how we handle it and misuse it. So we just all need to be better about that. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment, share this video with your friends, and make sure you tune in next week at 5.30 p.m. Central. Solid miss. Well, mm -hmm. well, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Cut!